Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will discuss about the differences in between shell thin and shell thick, and also we will discuss about membrane. So let's start definition. What is shell? A thin or thick, straight, curved, or any shaped plate is introduced as a structural member. To transmit applied forces by compressive tensile and shear stress is known as shell. We model shells in FEM programs for defining floor, walls, bridge decks, or any shaped surfaces. In the figure, we can see a plate or shell. Now, shell thin. Shell thin or thin plate formulation neglects transverse shear deformation it has effect upon both in plane and out of plane behavior shell thick shell thick or thick plate formulation accounts transverse shear deformation thick plate formulation has no effect upon membrane behavior that means in plane behavior only has effect on plate bending behavior that means out of plane behavior now we will explain these things what is transverse shear deformation the shear deformation occurs due to bending is referred as transverse shear deformation we can see some figures this is one beam having load at the end of its cantilever portion in the second figure we can see the shear acting in a cross section that is Q and in this figure we can see the shear deformation before deformation consider a cross section here in this line this is perpendicular to neutral axis this is thin shell and this is thick shell after deformation that means when it is bended or deformed that time in thin shell this bending axis will be perpendicular to the neutral axis so there will be no transverse deformation but in thick shell there will be transverse deformation which is defined here as gamma in plane and out of plane behavior these terms we have found in the definition of shell thin and shell thick the stress occurs due to the normal load acting through a plan of plate span is known as in plan shear or behavior on the other hand the stress occurs due to the load acting along the perpendicular direction of plate span length that means along the plate thickness along the plate thickness is known as out of plan shear or behavior in a figure we can see this is a wall this wall having a span length along this direction so the shear acting along this direction is known as in plane shear the shear acting along this direction that means perpendicular to the span length or we can say along the plate thickness or depth which is this is known as out of plane shear and accordingly the moment will be generated so this behavior is known as in plan and out of plan behavior when to consider thin or thick shell thin to consider thin plate action in a structure we have to define shell as thin normally when the ratio of effective length of a plate l to the thickness t is more than 10 that means L by T greater than 10 then the plate will be defined as shell thin this ratio varies from 10 to 20 as the contribution of shear deformation becomes significant when ratio between the span of plate bending curvature and thickness is approximately 20 or 10 this is referred in CSI knowledge base generally floor slabs shear walls etc are considered as shell thin type shell thick to consider thick plate action and to consider transverse 
shear deformation in a structure we have to define plate as shell thick normally when the ratio of effective length of a plate l to the thickness t is equal or less than 10 that means l by t equal or less than 10 then the plate will be defined as shell thick generally foundation pad or raft or mat foundation column capitals etc are considered as shell thick membrane the shell element which does not have such thickness to ensure bending stiffness or resistance is called as membrane membrane that means membrane does not have bending stiffness or resistance membrane elements are used to represent only in plane stiffness of members it acts like the thin sheet carries load only but no moment as it does not have any kind of bending stiffness and so it bends without any resistance and in the figure we can see if any sheet having very thin very small thickness which tends to zero that means one millimeter or 0.5 millimeter thickness then the sheet will act like this membrane it will bend without any bending resistance it will not carry any moment we can use this kind of element when we don't want slab or plate to carry any bending moment that's why when we model slab as membrane then 100 percent of moment from slab is transferred to connected structural members example two slab model in etabs one is defined as shell thin and another one is defined as membrane following is the observation we can see with the figure here we have modeled two slab one is with shell thin another with shell membrane so what we have found in shell thin slab carries moment according to its strength or its bending stiffness membrane in case of membrane slab does not carry moment in shell thin bending moment in beams or beam is less as some of the bending moment is carried by slab in membrane bending moment in beam is more because 100 percent moment of slab is transferred to beam where you can see this side 26.5 here 23.7 here be in beam bending moment is less in case of shell thin in case of membrane bending moment in beam is more this side 35.4 this side 30.9 here you can see same loading dead load 3 kN per meter square here we are checking bending moment for dead load for shell thin 3 kN per meter square for membrane load is same 3 kN per meter square we can see the section properties shell thin here modeled as shell thin membrane modeled as membrane so this is the difference in between shell and membrane type of plates conclusion shell thick accounts transverse shear deformation shell thin neglects transverse shear deformation membrane membrane neglects transverse shear deformation and bending moment shell thick span by thickness ratio l by t is equal or less than 10 thickness is high shell thin span by thickness ratio l by t is greater than 10 thin plate has lower thickness for membrane span by thickness ratio l by t almost equal to infinity that means thickness tends to zero very very thin layered plate that does not have any bending stiffness thanks for watching if you are new to our channel then subscribe the channel for more important videos check out our playlists to find useful contents press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update